Matthew twenty eight eighteen through twenty, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. Amen. If you want one verse that clearly shows Trinity is a teaching of Jesus himself, that's the verse. Trinity is a core Christian doctrine. Cults claim the names of certain faiths, but deny core doctrines of that faith. Every cult that I know of that claims the name Christian denies Trinity. The denial and misunderstanding of Trinity leads to a variety of false doctrines. I cannot list them all, but I do know and can list a few here. False doctrine number one. Jesus is not eternally with the Father, but was instead born to the Father through intimacy with a feminine spirit, like a goddess, and is the brother of Satan. John 1, 1 through 2 tells us, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Jesus also says in John 17:5, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So Jesus was with God the Father eternally. False doctrine number two. Jesus is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which also requires that he would be both his own Father and his own Son. Matthew 3.16-17 And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and, lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lighting upon him. And, lo, a voice from heaven, saying, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The voice of the Father came from heaven. The Holy Spirit was the dove, and Jesus was on the earth. The Father clearly spoke to the Son, so Jesus is not his own Father and his own Son. Also, the dove, which is the Holy Spirit, is clearly not Jesus. So Jesus is only one person of the Trinity, not all three. False doctrine number three. Jesus did not have a flesh and blood human body while on earth. 1 John 4, 1 through 3. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Only an Antichrist person or spirit denies Jesus' flesh and blood human body. False doctrine number four. Jesus did not pray to his Father, but rather to his own higher consciousness. Matthew 14:36, And he, Jesus, said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou wilt. Jesus was clearly addressing his Father, not his own higher consciousness which was not capable of doing anything more for him than he could consciously do for himself. False doctrine number five. Jesus was an angel instead of God. Hebrews 1, 1 through 5. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being in the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, 
when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. For those who believe Jesus was only an angel, that can lead to worship of angels, which is idolatry. Colossians 2.18-19 let no man beguile you of your reward in voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment ministered and knit together, increaseth with the increase of God. Revelation 19.10 I fell at his, the angel's, feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. False doctrine number six. Jesus was only a man with no divine nature at all. Colossians 2, 8 through 9. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him, Jesus, dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Scripture makes it clear that Jesus is God in flesh and nothing less. The Bible tells us in Galatians 1, 6 through 9. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Jesus himself taught Trinity. Those who deny it are forced to come up with another explanation for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is the Trinity God of the Bible I want to share with you. If you are ready to receive him for yourself, it begins with a simple little prayer like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins, and come into my heart, and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life, and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of his will so you can live out his holiness in your life. If you are interested in understanding the story of Jesus' life better, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you know the true God.